what's up guys, Betty here, and I have a very exciting Warzone video for you today because we have an early look at Call of Duty Vanguard weapons in Warzone. With Season 6, Raven Software accidentally made it possible for you to use two of Call of Duty Vanguard weapons, the SDG-44 and the M1 Garand, which we're taking a look at first with Erev's gameplay, who managed to get it in a game of Plunder, because there were a couple of ways people were able to get their hands on the weapons early. Now, everyone had access to being able to view them in the loadout menus where you could see the M1 Garand and also the STG-44 with the Vanguard image on the side instead of Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare. Um, but in game, if you're in a game of Plunder, you were able to get the M1 Garand and the STG-44 from the Weapon Crate um, field order. So you were able to call the Weapon Crate out and it would be you would have a chance of getting the M1 Garand or the STG-44, which is what Erev did. And as you can see, the very first look at some M1 Garand gameplay, my first instinct with this was... This is very much giving me DMR meta vibes because in this video as well, I'm going to talk about everything we know about the Call of Duty Vanguard weapons so far, such as being able to have 10 attachments, how they're going to be dominant with the Warzone integration, which is coming apparently on November 27th. So around three weeks after the uh, initial release of Call of Duty Vanguard. But I want to focus right now on the M1 Grand. Also, there is a link to Erev's video down in the description below if you want to go check it out as well. Um, but first instinct, as you can see from this gameplay, is they have done a great job in kind of making these weapons work within the Warzone universe. Because my first instinct when they started talking about the next game being a World War II period game, I was like, how... How are these guns going to work against Modern Warfare guns and Black Ops Cold War? It's either going to be ridiculously stupid or it's just going to be very imbalanced. And like, come on, let's be honest. Like, how in the world is an M1 Garand going to match up to an M4A1? It it, it just shouldn't work. Um, but this is the first look at how they've gone ahead and done it. The optics look really clean. Um, they've definitely customized some of the weapons like... We all know with an M1 Garand, they put the bullets into the top normally. Uh, it didn't have a mag. In this case, it's got a 20-round mag. Now, 20-round mag M1 Garand. It doesn't exist. So we're kind of entering a more fictional world now, uh, which I'm totally cool with. I'm just kind of excited to see how the weapons and the integration happens um, and whether we get access to the M1 Garand and the STG-44 early but that was the first look at the m1 grand we're now going to go on to the gun that i'm the most excited about which is the stg 44 now this is going to be the staple assault rifle uh with call of duty vanguard this gameplay we're actually checking out is from phase booyah who was one of the few people who were able to get their hands on this gun in a game of rebirth right which is absolutely ridiculous now the only way that this was possible if you picked it up after a cheater had spawned it in so Booyah, very fortunate to be able to get his hands on this and get the gun in action um, and was very, like, kind of, to be honest, it's great to see it being used by such a top-tier player. There is a link to his video down in the description below. I was very, very excited to check this out. As First of all, it gives us a first look at how Vanguard weapons are going to operate within the current meta and also um, how they're going to, like, perform and behave. So let's talk attachments with uh, Call of Duty Vanguard weapons. They are confirmed to now have 10 attachments rather than the traditional five with Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare weapons. Now, don't panic when it comes to that because I've seen a lot of talk on Twitter about it going like, oh, how are they going to... like?" Vanguard weapons are going to be completely overpowered and broken um, because they have 10 attachments rather than five. All that means is you're going to get a bit more overall flexibility on how you build your gun. It's going to be definitely a lot more personal than with Modern Warfare weapons and Cold War weapons because you can adjust a weapon a lot more to kind of fit particular play styles. Now, with like... Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare weapons, it's, there's, there's pretty standard builds. You kind of go for a fast ADS and it's quite drastic. You can't like marginally change weapons. While with the 10 attachments, you're going to be able to have the ability to make more marginal adjustments. So, all right, I'm, I'm not happy with the ADS. All right, let's, let's build the attachments around making a super fast ADS build. Or you can make something that's a bit more all around well balanced, um, which I think is going to be a fun thing to do. I think you're going to get a lot more kind of 
variation in builds with weapons, which I think is only going to be a good thing with Warzone, because right now, let's be honest, every single gun has a meta build, and it's the same across all the assault rifles. It's an agency suppressor, it's a task force battle, a field agent grip, the mag that you want, and then the actual arms three times. And it's the same for every single thing. This might give builds if you struggle with recoil. You can build a better recoil build or make it a more mobile SMG version of the STG. Maybe some of the S SMGs are going to be able to be turned into assault rifles. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I want to kind of comment a bit more on the STG gameplay because um, the optics are so, so clean. And also, how much fun does it look to you? So this is an STG build, which is, is kind of quite interesting because it's a blueprint variation. that You weren't able to customize it. It's just a straight blueprint. Um, but it definitely looks looks based off of the image on the bottom right as well that it is being designed to be like an smg variant it's got no stock it seems super mobile and that's why i was mentioning earlier why i think the 10 attachments is going to be a great thing because it's going to give us so much more customization but just it looks so good like I, I know booyah is just one of those players that makes every gun look good and then you go ahead and use it yourself and you're like this thing sucks but this time it does look really good. You can see by the time to kill the ADS speed on it as well. Uh, when he's going in from a side cancel to kind of like snapping onto his opponent, it all just looks really, really fluid. And that's one of the reasons I'm excited about using it because that makes a big difference. And yes, the STG is an all round assault rifle, which we saw with the description when the uh, guns were kind of like shown a little bit earlier in the loadout menus. But look at that just like smooth in slide cancel out get those plates back on thankfully tempered makes that a lot easier so we can then go ahead and re-engage um but just like pushing the opponents look how fast that is that's close range smg style that does not seem like an assault rifle like, if i'm perfectly being honest i'll be happy if i'm doing that with a mac 10 right now uh and that's kind of why i think vanguard weapons are going to be the most interesting of course we also get the brand new map uh with the vanguard integration but one of the biggest questions for me is are we going to be getting these guns early? Um, because is that why they were shown in the menus? Maybe a little bit shown a little bit too early, um, but it would make sense to kind of have some kind of event for the Vanguard release to kind of entice people to go across and like go and play Vanguard multiplayer. And one of the ways to do that is by giving people a couple of the Vanguard weapons in Warzone a little bit earlier, maybe as like a pre-order bonus or some something along those lines or as a challenge. I don't know yet, um, but let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to get these weapons early um, or not. But we've also right got one other new gun that's coming this month which we'll just check in a second um as we just see you know booyah get another win taking out two people i just want to use this gun it looks so so much fun also it'd be interesting to see if he gets to keep those ranks up rank ups as he goes along but great great weapon but also we have the lapper smg this is the final black ops cold war weapon being added into the game um and it looks pretty good to be perfectly honest with you it's a 30 round smg base mag Fairly steady fire rate. Um, I do not like the look of the iron sights. I'm going to be honest with you. Those look horrific. Um, might just be me, but it's very like obtrusive and you can't really see what's going on. Um, so there'll probably be some kind of blueprint which has a cleaner iron sight. Uh, but that is the Lapper SMG, which is coming at the haunting event. Um, it'll most likely be similar to Shivs where you'll have to complete a couple challenges. You'll have to complete all the haunting event challenges and you'll get access to this gun. That's how they did it with the, like, the melee weapon in last season um and i'm quite excited about it. like i think the cold war weapons are in the best place they've ever been especially close range meta there's so many options the assault rifles you've got quite a lot of options now with the xm4 um the uh the farah and also the cold war ak-47 also the m2 as well but the smgs gonna be interesting to see because the latest weapons they added were awful um but that has been a first look at the two brand new guns uh, that are coming with Call of Duty Vanguard. Early, uh, an early look at Vanguard weapons. I was not expecting this, um, but it's got me very, very excited for the, the integration and the new weapons. It's going to freshen Warzone up. Let me know down in the comments which one you're most excited to have, get your hands on. For me, it's the SDG 44, the M1 Grand. Um, I don't think will be too powerful just because it's single shot weapon, uh, and I don't think they'll make the mistake of the DMR meta once again. Subscribe if you're new, smash the thumbs up button, and I'll see you for more Call of Duty Warzone tomorrow. Thanks for watching.